So guys, in case you have been recording on FL Studio and each time you record, you can't find where these files are recorded into, or you can't find the location where these files that are being recorded, where this where these files go to, all right? And probably you want to move the folder, you want to move the file or the recording to another PC to go and work on, but you start looking for these files. Well, I want to say something that probably there is something that you are supposed to have been doing, which you did not do the right way before the recording, okay? And I want you to check our previous videos to get to see how you can actually get to record uh, on FL Studio and getting to set these files or this files location very well, the right way, right? But then in case you find yourself in that kind of situa situation right now and then um, you are looking for how to get yourself or how to bail yourself out, let me just quickly put you through how you can actually get to locate these files, okay? And even if you locate them, I, I find it difficult to believe that you'll be able to identify what each file is for, especially if you have been recording different artists into the same location. But then let me put you through on how you can actually get to locate these files, okay? Let's go. So for instance, now I want to record now, okay? I want to record, let's assume um, this is your situation that you get to record an artist. And if you also want to know how to record properly um, using the FL Studio, I have a video for that already. You should check my channel or check my page. You are going to see that video, all right? So let's assume this is your recording here, okay? You have recorded, okay? Um, so let's assume this is your recorded file here. Now, and you want to locate the directory where this file is being recorded into so let me show you of course you can see number one you can see the 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 project name or the file name rather you can see it here so you would want to use the file name to locate the file now if you want to locate this and also it depends on the version of fl studio you are using if you're using older version of fl studio i will show you where you will be able to see this and if you're using the newer version depending on how your fl studio was installed i'm going to show you how to see this now if you're using fl studio i don't know if this happens to fl studio 20 if you're using from 21 upward okay so this is what you do this is where you locate the file you go to your um explorer Okay, so just have your Explorer open. So under that, you see your document. On that document, go to image line. Okay, when you get to image line, go to FL Studio. Open up FL Studio. Now here in this particular place here, just notice that there is something called audio. So by the time you open the audio, you are going to see different stuff like recorded, rendered, shapes, sliced audio. Okay, so of course, it is a recorded audio we are looking for, all right? So you go to recorded. On that is recorded. Can you see that now? So if you check this out, insert five, recorded at um, what time? Okay, 14.04, recorded at 14.04. You can see it here, insert five, recorded at 14.04, all right? So, of course, you can see now the year 2024 and all of this now. So, this is how you get to locate this. So, the reason I said it was going to be a bit difficult, almost impossible for you to separate the files. Imagine you did not title each of the projects and you did not title each of the file you recorded. It would be very, very difficult for you to be able to um, separate these files. Okay, that's why I said it is important you have that defined already before you start recording these audios. Okay, so that you can easily move these files around if you want to move them. Okay, so that is that. If you're using from FS Studio, I think 2021. 20, FS Studio 20, FS Studio 21, and upward, okay? But then if you're using the older FS Studio, you are, you are going to locate this inside your Drive C, I think. So inside your Drive C, you go to Drive C, then Program File, all right? On that Program File, you also see Image Line somewhere. Now, this is it, Image Line, okay? On that Image Line, you will see FS Studio, then the version you are using, whatever version you are using, okay? You click on it, okay? And you open it up and you are going to see 
projects on that project then you now see audio you click on you open projects then you are going to see audio inside that place okay or even it even if it is here you see the audio it means that that is where the audio is being recorded into so you can actually get to locate those audios from there and get to move them but then guys i will say this if you don't want to fall a victim to this okay if you don't want to find yourself in this kind of mistakes then check our previous videos see how you get to have defined location or defined directory where you have your data folder being saved okay so that when whenever you want to move these files you will not start looking for them one after the other okay they are all in our previous videos okay just go check them out and if you have watched these videos this far guys i will say please do well to subscribe to my channel okay and also do well to follow me on facebook twitter i'm sorry facebook yeah twitter too as well yeah and um instagram tiktok okay so guys um all the names there peace and beat peace and beat okay on all my social media handle peace and beat and also ensure that you get to share this video with your friend okay don't be selfish don't keep this for yourself uh, to yourself alone just share this with people you know that this would be of benefit to all right so guys see you in our next video god bless you